What's good you too, Mad Mass Collector? Back with another PSA submission. This is a uh, modern value submission. So I'm a silver member with PSA, it's 50 bucks a year. Um, you get all their bulk submission deals and quarterly deals. So you can, you basically get everything except for like the freebie submissions or whatever, which you would get with gold and platinum, but they don't even offer those anymore. So get the silver. All right. So, um, I bought, uh, 17 sets of these, uh, classic 1989 or 90, whatever, what are they? 1990. So this, uh, this classic baseball, anybody that's over 40 knows, knows these things. I think classic baseball travel edition games, whatever. Um, so this is 1989. So this is Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie year card, basically. Um, everybody knows the purple and gray one, but this one here mostly resembles the um, upper deck rookie card. So, the, I mean, this thing, I open up one of, one of the 17 that I have, and this thing is like, Perfect condition. Edges, corners, centering. <laughs> I mean, it looks looks great. So yeah, I got like 17 of these for like nine bucks a piece. And what about the other case the guy had, but it sold pretty quickly after that. I just couldn't do it at that time. But um, Gary Sheffield. So these are the, like the big hitters, right? So uh, Bo Jackson. Ken Griffey Jr. And then uh, Don Mattingly's in it. Barry Bonds. It's 1989. Uh, Daryl Strawberry and Will Clark. Wade Boggs. Mark McGuire. Jose Canseco. Roger Clemens. Ramon Martinez, rookie. Gary Sheffield, rookie. Roberto Almar, rookie, and Greg Maddox, rookie card, or second year card. So this little set's got just loaded with, with Hall of Fame players, studs. Check out the population reports. So, so Bo Jackson, Ken Griffey Jr. Try to get this thing situated so we're not. Ken Griffey, 1990 Upper Deck. Uh, stay tuned. At the end of the video, I'll open up this... Uh, classics pack and see how the condition is because the the pack of cards is just kind of floating in there uh Kesson Hira uh Bowman Chrome first so this is a draft um I'm a Brewers fan I'm in Wisconsin um I actually have some some tops now cards with Keston's uh first like hit and uh in the league, first home run, and shit like that. I got one of his first autographs. Uh, Dennis Rodman medal. Love this card. Lots of them. I've I've had so many videos with this card in it. Like, I mean, guys, a top twenty all-time basketball players. Fuck offense all the time. If I'm picking a top five team, it's Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Kobe Bryant, 
LeBron James and probably Larry Bird like starting five I don't I don't care what how tall they are or what position they played like I'm not picking by that that type of rationale but like my top five players that that's what it is I'll take that team against everybody popularity contest wise for people that I just um, just love listening to now uh, Charles Barkley 100% such a great personality on TV um, I love Charles Barkley uh, Shaquille O'Neal again this B team is badass. Um, I have it flip flopped on the side, so when it's in backwards, I know it's, I don't think it's a ten for some reason. So it, I don't think it's the centering. It looks pretty good side to side, uh, top to bottom. I don't know if that even matters with these cards, but um, there's definitely a reason why I think it might not be a ten. But we're gonna find out. Um, Robin's, this is Topps Chrome Refractor, Topps Finest, Mystery Finest. Dude, I was on a Robin kick last year, like nobody's business, um, bought a lot of Robin cards. One of my best, you know, favorite players of all time, so I went in hard on Robin. Tops Chrome. Uh, this one's centered really, really well, considering it's horizontal as far as the picture goes. So there's, you could, I mean, you could really tell if it was off centered more this way than like a card like this it would be harder to tell. It's because there's so much distance between the edges. But it looks pretty good. Um, I have it in here as like a nine or, or less, and it's probably something to do with the back. I think there's a little soft corner. Oh, that that little thing right there. This little tiny little white spot on the edge there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. But it's just a classic picture, isn't it? Love it. Uh, Rodman's tops finest so this is just the refractor of like the base card um it's not numbered but uh again i have this flag for not being a 10 for some reason so i don't know what it is off the top of my head it's been a while since i bought this but if it's in there with the backwards it means it's not a 10 in my book so we'll see what happens AI, Allen Iverson, Rookie, Upper Deck. Um, straight out of the binder, out of the top loader that I've had since 1996. A couple little things here and there, but it's Allen Iverson, it's his rookie card, it's gonna get sent in. Uh, Ray Allen, same thing, Upper Deck. Uh, the rookie class in this year is insane. I met Ray Allen when he was uh, in spring training, or whatever you want to call it, preseason training um, before his rookie year in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Uh, I played basketball for Oshkosh, Wisconsin at that time. I was able to, to meet him. I got him to sign a basketball for me. Um, I got him to sign a basketball card for me, but it turned out so shitty. I had the wrong, I had the wrong uh, type of um, marker for the card, and it ended up just getting like pulled up and watery. It looks like shit, but I still have it. I'm gonna find it and post it on this video. But I have that, the basketball, and uh, I was a UConn fan, so it's like, fuck. I bought tons of boxes of cards just to pull these things so he could sign it. Oh, that's crazy.
crazy. That's a good story. I'll 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 get a picture of the basketball too. Um, and he signed it perfectly. I bought like a silver shake marker and a legit like uh, not legit basketball, but like I bought a ball from like fucking Walmart or whatever at the time. I mean, this is 1996, you know. Wasn't many options back then. But I'll tell you what you could find is basketball cards. You can find as many as you wanted to buy. Now you can't find shit. Uh, Steve Nash, 96. Same, damn. Such a loaded class. Full of Hall of Famers. So Kevin Love rookie card, 2008. In the old 1986 Fleer Jordan rookie card border, which it, it's badass. I don't know why they just don't do it more often like that. Gary Payton rookie sensations 1991 Fleer. So these came out of jumbo packs, I believe. Um, I bought a bunch of these wax boxes of jumbo packs and regular wax and whatnot, pull a bunch of really nice looking cards. Um, this one here definitely was from there. Looks really good. Looks great. This is cool. So 1991, right? Yeah, 91, 92, award winners, leaders, um, upper deck. David Robinson for rebounds that year. The 3D holograph effect. Um, looks pretty good on the back. Dikembe Mutombo, 91 upper deck. Not the best centered card in the world, but it's Dikembe Mutombo, man. That was a defensive stud. Um, and so here we go. So top crop Dikembe on the face of this card. Uh, the back of it is Alonzo Mourning. So I'm telling you, I'm going to buy a crap ton of these. Because... Uh, they're just like the Bowman's best cards, which have Hall of Famers on both sides as well. And there's not a lot on the pop report or PSA. I think I'm, you know, this is an opportunity to, to grab some of these cards, these inserts. Um, I think they're gonna be big, regardless of whatever grade they get. The higher, the better, because there's not many out there. And I can see it not being very, very well taken care of. It doesn't even matter if you put it in a sleeve or not. These things scratch like crazy. So uh, this is uh, Kobe's second year. Yep. Second year tops. Um, it's not uh, perfectly centered, but uh, looks good. You know, it's, it's Kobe's second year fucking card. I'm going to start putting labels on my thumbnails for um, explicit content going forward so you guys know if I'm swearing or not. I try to keep it clean, but sometimes you just got to be 100% authentic. Um, Kobe's Los Angeles Lakers card. This is from, night, this is from 2006. So this year... Like, there's so many great players just, like, dunking on their cards. So, like, they took all the pictures from from the behind-the-backboard uh, camera. So, like, LeBron has the same type of picture, etc. cetera. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, rookie, 92-93 Fleer Ultra. I uh, pulled this out of a pack. Not the best condition, I don't think, but who knows. Uh, it's literally been in this sleeve since I pulled it out of the pack. It's pretty good condition, but 
I might go through all these and just kind of give them a quick wipe down before I send them off. But uh, This one here I bought online. It's just the Shaquille Finest Tops. It's not a refractor, but um, I got it as a really good price because otherwise I, I wouldn't have bought it. But it's uh, if you see a lot of uh, Shaquille inserts with his magic jerseys on you know with his first few years in the league those are the ones you you want besides the years that he's won the championship but it's fucking Shaquille O'Neal uh Scotty Pippen 90 Fleer um eyeballing it it's borderline perfect I think Uh, Pippen's gonna blow up. Not just his rookie cards either. It's gonna be his insert cards, all stars, uh, Olympic cards are gonna go up. Um, 1989 Fleer. Jump on anything that are PSA fucking eights and above because good luck finding cards in that that year that are centered well it's impossible uh 90 charles barkley uh yanked this one out of a out of a pack that i probably opened up out of a wax box so this one actually looks pretty good um at that time i might not have had the experience that i do now which isn't much either but i probably would have said it was pushed too much that way for a 10 but this is the back PSA allows a lot more forgiveness in the back it's all about eye appeal on the face number one versus corners edges surface but the back are a little bit more lenient so I think this one's a 10 possibly so here we go so yeah 1989 Fleer here we go the slightest off off centeredness you can pick out and you know super easy. You know, it's pushed this way. To get this card, and I think a lot of it has to do with this ha it has this inside white border as well, which adds to the issue. This is the best one I have, and it's pretty close. It should be pushed up and to this way a little bit, but I think this year's Fleer to get a 10, a 9, or an 8 is a good play just because there's not many that you can find that are centered, especially graded ones. Same with 88. 88 Fleer, I mean, this was the year that I started collecting hard on anything and first time for basketball. Uh, so this one, uh, Ewing, I, I pulled out of a pack in 1988. Um, it's not centered well enough, I don't think, so it's a nine, most likely. Uh, Magic Johnson. Uh, definitely off-centered, but it's an 8 or a 9. Everything else is perfect on it. Charles Barkley, off-centered, not a 10. But it's Charles Barkley, 88 Fleer. It's really good condition. Um, Carl Malone, so this is a 87 Fleer. Um, I actually bought some bullshit fourth party grading company card, snapped, snapped it out of the case and I'm submitting it to see what, what happens. Uh, obviously it's off centered to the, to the left, but other than that, it looked really good. So we'll see what happens. I think I paid, uh, 20 bucks for it.
the uh, 89 score or 90 is this 90 89 I know it says that but I could have you know thinking about the past a lot of times you get rookie cards that are come out in the 90s but 1990 but it says 89 anyways you know what I'm talking about uh, it looks good it, it's not centered perfectly up top to bottom other than that it looks good I just I pulled this off of uh, eBay for for the price about eight ten months ago I started buying a lot of Deion Sanders um, cards about a year ago just because um, the guy is just a phenomenal athlete uh, personality is there you know charisma and everything and he's a TV personality on top of it he'll never go away so that's why I've been buying a lot of Deion Sanders baseball and football uh, Teddy Bridgewater I still have faith in this fucking guy I don't care if he plays for Carolina or where he goes this guy has the attitude and character of a winner and that's what I like about this guy proved me wrong fine but the guy broke his leg so bad that they said he would never probably walk again and look where he came where is he now he's starting for the Carolina Panthers if that doesn't motivate you to want to be um, a believer in this guy I don't, I don't know what is everybody can say he's a game manager sure whatever but he won every single game last year or two years ago when he played for the Saints when he actually had surrounding cast okay Alvin Kamara uh, Ingr what, Ingram Jr. Michael fucking Thomas as a receiver uh, Jared Cook tight end what did he have this year and the people are bitching him out because he didn't play well he didn't have Christian McCaffrey basically for the whole year arguably one of the best offensive players in the league did not have the guy as a release valve even I still believe in this guy I don't I don't care if Carolina keeps them if they're all hard on with Deshaun Watson whatever wherever Teddy Bridgewater goes he's gonna succeed I have total faith in the guy and I, I can't wait until it happens. Uh, Cream Hunt. I got his rookie cards here. Not centered the best, but it's really, really good condition. Otherwise, that's his base optic. Uh, here's his hollow optic. Um, I'm only submitting one type of card of each player to PSA at a time. I'm not sending doubles or triples of the same card anymore. I don't want them to be able to see and compare the same card against each other. Um, I sent six Rodman cards, rookie cards, and one came back a 10, two came back nines, two eight and a halves, and one was an eight. So my th thought process says that they were taking the best one comparing it to the other ones kind of narrowing it down from there so I, I don't know if that's true or not obviously but I'm just trying to use some common sense on this stuff um this is the lime green one hollow cream hunt um Definitely, you know, less occurrence of the green versus the silver, from what I know. Uh, pink is a little bit harder to get as well. 
than green even. So that's what this one is. Uh, it is not numbered. Uh, anyways, uh, Prism 2017 rookie card. So here we go, another hollow Prism. Prism, Prism. Cream Hunt. And that wraps up the uh, the video a little bit longer than anticipated, but oh shit, yeah, we were gonna open up uh, one of these classic boxes, weren't we? To see how how nice the Griffey was. Let's do it. All right, totally not tampered with at all. I just pulled it out of the, the box that it came in. Still got the tag on it. So you open, <laughs> I only opened up one box so far. You open up the box and it, the package is kind of floating in here. And it has the, uh, the game board. And it also <laughs> has the dice and the, the three pieces, player pieces with it. Here's a list of all the all the players, which I mean it's pretty stacked full of really good, you know, stars and Hall of Famers and whatnot. And then this is how the cards come. They come in a cellophane wrap like a pack of cigarettes. for many years so I... alright I think it they're cut in a certain see this looks perfectly centered already so here's Roberto perfect Teddy Huguera Greg Maddox Cameron Drew Here's Jose. You can see some of the edges are kind of fuzzy. Mark McGuire. Bo Jackson, really fuzzy edge here. Just gonna get clipped clean. Juan Samuel. Paul Gibson. Wade Boggs, Dwight Gooden, Frank Viola. Oh, still Tom Brown, Cecil SB, Roger Clemens, Ramon Martinez, pretty good, Strawberry Clark. Barry Bonds, Don, and here we go. So here's Griffey, and this looks really good again. Like it might not be left to right perfect, but man, the edges and corners look really good. That's dope. Two for two. Andy Van Slyke. Fred McGriff. Oral Hershiser. Kirk Gibson. A home run hitter right there. I think that's pretty much it out of this pack. David Cohen. Oh, here's Daryl. Daryl Strawberry. Eric Davis was a stud too. 
Bam, Bam Mullins. Gary Sheffield, rookie year. Dale Murphy, Greg Olson, Carlos Quintana, Eric Hansen, and rookie Jordan's rookie year. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Longer video than expected, but it was a fun one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell, be notified of new content when I put it out, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.